Hi there, my name is Ramos from Ramos TV. Welcome. Today I'll be talking about the scholarship of United Arab Emirates University for undergraduate, masters and PhD, which is full funded for PhD and masters or doctorate, you can say. But for undergraduate, it's just tuition fee full funded and it can be also partial, depending on your academic excellence. And the mode for the application for undergraduate and masters, there is application fee which you can find on the website. But for PhD or doctorate, it's just free of charge, zero application fees. So now we are here on the application website, and I'm gonna take you through the quick guide on how to apply and other stuff. And that's it for today. So I hope. You're going to learn something from here and wish to see you applying and acquiring this amazing scholarship. Please do me a favor by subscribing to my channel today. If you haven't done so and like the video, let's get me even 50k like 50 likes, not 50k guys, 50, 50. Well, so on the website over here, you can see we have library, life in the UAE, university research and innovation, academic affairs on top. Over here, we got also the admission and about the university. So you can click on the admission, but here below, you can see some scrolling items like international student, student exchange, transfer between university, acceptance of postgraduate. But when you click on admission part, so clicking on the admission, you can see we have admission to undergraduate program, admission to postgraduate programs, readmissions, or transfer from other institution scholarships and tuition fees register student exchange unit so for undergraduate they'll need to click on here undergraduate when you click over there it will bring you to this part of where you can see we have the part for where the scholarship where people can apply for u.s citizen or children of the female citizen arab country citizens since for asian and african country you can just click and apply here separate or international student you want to be in that category you can click over there and apply to that site and see about the minimum requirement and other stuff over here so to view and how to apply you can click here down and you're ready to go for application this is for undergraduate but the website for undergraduate and postgraduate master and phd that's what i mean application just the same so i'm just using undergraduate just showing you then i'll go i'm going now to masters i talk about the accredited and the details then we'll go to apply step by step so let's click back to admission let's click to admission admission to postgraduates click over there programs then it will bring you over here you can see master's program doctor and professional doctorate program you click over there you have much more of the information about these programs master's and doctorate then for admission desk you can click over there the deadline is january 31st 31 january so you can apply postgraduate by clicking here when you click that site now clicking here click here you can apply for postgraduate program by clicking here let's click that and it will be brought to this site over here this is the application site admission site where undergraduate and postgraduate all of us we need to use this site over here so you need to to log in with with your id because we are new you just see a first time you'll click your first time user account creation and over here you create your own pin put any character which you need and create a pin should be strong with alpha numeric more uh, of minimum six character and other stuff when you finish create an idea can be maybe ramose and create a pin you create and verify it then you can click login so for me because i, I already have the login id and the pin i created i'll just go here and, and put my login details after put my your, your password, click login. So when you click login, it will bring you over this part over here and you have the application type. So over here you can see bachelor's, at international student, doctor of pharmacy, master's in human nutrition, chemical engineering, master's in chemistry. You can scroll and see a lot of options that are available, PhD in engineering, PhD in in medicine and health science you can do even phd over there in medicine for medical student 
So after I'm done that, let me just choose masters in clinical or oh, in electrical engineering. Let me choose that. Then you click continue. Here you need to type your first name and last name. Uh, if you have two names, don't put the middle name. But if you have three names, put your middle name. Sorry, over here I need you. I, I forgot to select this admission term. You should select the admission term like fall 2021. So this is for the fall time. Then click fill out application. Then we'll be brought here to the application checklist whereby we need to fill our degree programs, checklist number one, our names, personal information, international information, mailing address, supporting documents, and the application fee payment. But this application fee payment popped out just because I clicked there for masters. Let's go back and try to choose. Let's go back and try to choose PhD. Oh, let me show you and later on I'll show you if I choose PhD, what will happen. So click on the degree program. You choose the degree from where master in that chemical engineering, you checklist number one like that, then names, you come over here, you, you checklist if they are correct, then click checklist. You come personal information, you need to check your email, verify your e is not mandatory, gender, you need to put marital status birth date and that then you click checklist international information as well you come over there citizen citizenship country you need to choose over here from which country are you coming from and birth country where were you born you need to put the information over there after finish you click let me try to put maybe like albania born into uh, algeria then click checklist and that is how it go. Then mailing address also. You need to fill your mailing address over here. The zip code. You can check on Google some information if you doesn't know them. Then you come supporting documents also. You need to fill like the college transcripts. Your graduation transcript from the university. Curriculum vitae, CV. Evidence of 12 or ILS. If you these are mandatory but if you doesn't have this and your university where you you are your studies were performed in, in english language you can just put the letter from your school ensuring that all the subjects were done in english so you can upload it over your experience certificate if you have family book graduate certificate passport copy passport unified number is not mandatory photographs the passport size the photo proposal document reference letter number one reference letter number two scholarship form then security form uae identity card visa papers if you have then you click upload and that's how it goes then you see the last the, the application fee payment so you can see you should first enter your email on the application checklist number three because the payment deal will be sent to you by the email so let me let me go back now I we can see on here because I'm applying for masters and undergraduate the application fee is the checklist number seven let's go back and try to bring it into another way yeah over here over here where I will be selecting an application type let me select PhD PhD in medicine then click continue then I fill my names and I on the application I choose fall 2021, fill out the application. So you can see now over here, I just have number one degree program, number seven supporting documents. The fee payment doesn't show up. So that's how they do it. Thank you so much for watching. After you finish filling all the details over here, you come, you click here, application is complete and the application will be sent will be submitted and that's how we do application over here the courses and other stuff you can check from the website over there but you have seen all the courses even here when you choose just uh, masters you can see masters in something and other stuff so undergraduate if you have chosen undergraduate you will see the courses that are available for undergraduate applicants but the undergraduate just 
some of them can you can be granted a scholarship for 100 percent tuition fee exemption or partial depending on your academic excellence that's how we do it thank you so much for watching please subscribe see you in another video any question drop on the comment section the link for the application in the description box bye bye